So then, Yankai's Peak. Here we have a game that is considered by our Pocket Gamer reviewer to be basically the best puzzle game of this year. I've just fired it up, I've been told that it's quite tough. So I basically thought I'd take up that challenge and try it out live. Well, live in the recorded sense, of course. Now, the way I'm controlling this is by flicking up and down and left and right uh, in order to guide these little triangles, or should I say prisms, backwards and forwards. The way that you get them to interact with other pyramids and triangles and prisms is kind of the aim of the game. You need to be able to push them into the places you want them to go. So for example, if I just try and swipe down here, you can see I can't get past this red triangle. However, if I anchor it, so I can add this anchor by tapping on that corner, I can actually move it. Unfortunately, what I've done there is move it off the board and uh, really done myself a massive disservice. So if I restart here, I need to get the blue triangle into that blue triangle slot. So let me see if I can pull it back by maybe anchoring it here. No, nope, that's not going to work. Let me pull it back by anchoring it here. No, nope, that's not going to work either. Hey, they're right. It's quite tough, isn't it? So, hang on. Let me try something different. Can I move the yellow one? No, I can't. Damn. All right. So, if I see if I do this, immediately the yellow one's going to Whoa, hello. I didn't expect that to happen. Um, right. So, now it's all oh, give me options to anchor. I can anchor it Ah, genius! So that's in place, but now I need to be able to move the red one in. If I anchor here, can I... Oh, ah, whoa! It is tough! Oh, I like it! Yes! Oh, but then I screwed the yellow one out of... Oh. I can't... I can only anchor it around the points of the blue triangle. Ooh, okay. All right, this is this is going to interest me. By which I mean drive me mental. <laughs> so there's no way of doing that without screwing that one over. Let me go back. Right. So, if I push that, that's going to push the yellow into place. I can only control the blue one. So, let's anchor it here. That's good. Now let's anchor that there. See? Now we're talking. Yes! We got there. And this is the uh, level select page. Look at this. So those are the ones I've already completed. When I get here, it pushes through. There you go. It's got a really weird style as well. I got this whole intro sequence when I fired the game up, which sort of caught me by surprise. It was quite good. Now, if I can, I need to push the red one... And that pushes it off the edge, so we don't want that. Anchor it here. Push that there. Now push that there. Now push that there. No! Undo. Push it there. Nope. Undo that. Uncouple it. See, I need to be able to push that red one in without it messing with the green. And the only option is to do that. But that, as you can see, kills the green and pushes it off the path. I can't anchor it to anywhere else. Obviously I can put the blue back here, but that's no good at all. Can I pull it back? If I anchor here... No, I can't pull it, pull it back. I can only push it forward and therefore screw it. Alright then, so we go to the top. Let's see if I can get it to come back with me a little bit. You, come here. Nah, it's not going to have it, is it? I can anchor there, but if I do that, it'll pull off. I can anchor it here, but that puts me back to the same position I was in to begin with. I can't just push it over. I can't pull it back either. So I can only push them off the edge, and then I'm doomed. Hey, they were right! I know there might be some people immediately watching this and screaming out the answer at me, but that's always the way with puzzles. When you're detached from it and you're watching other people, it's for some reason easier. <laughs> but they said you'll get stuck on the first level. I didn't get stuck on the first level, but yeah, it, it got stuck early. Oh! 
Hello. I keep forgetting that I'm not actually anchoring myself to the color. I'm anchoring myself to the board. Like that. Right. That's what we need to understand. That's what that's what's going to get us through this game. Hmm. All right. This is good. I like being challenged. I like stuff that isn't obvious. Yankai Swan. Oh, I see. It's based on the pattern of the, the path that I'm moving through. All right. We're going to attach here. We're going to attach here. We're going to attach here. Let's attach here and move you round. Then I want to attach here. No, I don't. I don't want to do that. Undo. Oops. I don't want to attach there. Push you round. I want to attach here and here. Excellent. And then I can pull back. Attach there. Ah, now we're getting somewhere, you see. That's clever. So if you want to be bullied by a game and made to feel stupid, the game's name is Yankai's Peak. Uh, it is a couple of pounds or dollars on the App Store right now. And go and read the review by someone who's played it for a bunch. Uh, it's highly recommended. Though I can see, if you're not up for a bit of a challenge, then you're going to be frustrated. But hey, who doesn't want to scream at a screen every now and then? Thank you for watching. See you next time.